My favorite show on television right now has to be Adult Swim's Rick and Morty, the adventures of a genius drunk uncle and his unwilling grandson. It mixes the grotesque with the hilarious and utilizes more scientific concepts than I've seen in a show in a very long time. But there's one that you have to understand to really get the show and its surprisingly deep message. Though Rick and Morty can have adventures while never leaving home, the show really blossoms when Rick whips out his portal gun, able to take him not just to any place in the universe, but also to any one of the infinite timelines in the greater Ricksterverse. Acknowledging the vastness of this Ricksterverse brings us some of Rick and Morty's most poignant and disturbing, yet fascinating messages. Uh, so what, what science is the Rick, Ricksterverse based on Morty? At its most fundamental, we know that the universe is governed by the laws of quantum mechanics, or how particles and the very fabric of space itself interacts at the very smallest scales. But this fundamental math has huge implications for how the universe really works, and physicists today are still divided on which interpretation of quantum mechanics is truly correct. One of these interpretations, the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics states that there's not just one universe Universe, but actually there might be an infinite set of branching universes. Formulated by physicist Hugh Everett in 1957, the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics tries to deal with the weirdness from observers and observe by interpreting the math to mean that every single thing in the universe is a quantum mechanical system and that to accommodate all of the different possibilities of those systems, the universe splits off into an infinite number of other universes when ever two quantum mechanical systems interact. What are you talking about, Rick? It doesn't make any sense. You've heard of Schrodinger's cat, right? The situation where some evil scientist has placed a poor little kitty inside of a box and saying that it could either be alive or dead until you open that box? This is alluding to the quantum mechanical concept of superposition, meaning that a particle, or in this case a cat, can be in one or two or many different states at exactly the same time and won't resolve to be one or another until it is observed. In this case, when you open the box and find a, a dead cat or not. A quantum superposition resolving itself to just one state or another is the main interpretation of quantum mechanics as physicists understand it right now. But the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics would solve Schrodinger's cat like this. It would say that yes, the cat is in a superposition of both alive and dead until the quantum systems interact. But after they do, the cat splits off into two distinct and separate universes that will never interact again. Two distinct and separate timelines where the cat is equally both alive and dead. And here's why I think this theory is so appealing to people, because it's so weird. If reality really is this way, then every single past and future event that could or can happen, as long as it's probable and it doesn't violate the laws of physics, did and will happen. You are not just you, you are just an individual in a branching timeline of possible universes that is watching this video right now. You are that version and not the version that is about to be struck by lightning because there, 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 there's, a, there, there's a version of you that's, that's, uh, that's, a, that's about, uh, about to die. With his portal gun, Rick has access to all this weirdness. It's what makes the show great. Now, I should note that not all physicists accept the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. In fact, at least according to one poll, only 18% of physicists do. But still, it gets so much press because of what the astounding reality of reality would be if it were true. Even so, the many worlds interpretation is the scientific source of Rick and Morty's most important moments. For example, in Rick Potion number nine, Rick effectively destroys the world. So he simply finds an alternate timeline where he doesn't and one where he and Morty both die around a specific time. They simply bury themselves and take their own place in a new reality and nothing has changed. Nothing is different. It implies that nothing really matters. The universe just doesn't care. You are but a branch on an infinitely large tree with roots that spread down into forever. This may sound depressing, but it's also 
liberating in a possibly infinite, uncaring Rixtaverse. Here you are, here we are trying to understand it, and one day, maybe you will. In fact, if the many worlds interpretation is true, then there is a version of you that will understand how the universe really works. But of course, as Rick says, there's also a version of the universe where Hitler cures cancer. So the answer is not to think about it. Why? Because wobble up dum dum! I don't give a f Want more science? Check out my last video on what's inside Joker toxins. Subscribe to Nerdist for more videos. If you want Because Science two days earlier than anyone else, head to Vessel at Vessel.com slash Nerdist. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, you can hit me up in the comment section below. Thanks.